An elderly Northland farmer and his wife are among the nine people killed in a fiery plane crash in the Philippines. Tom and Irma Carr from Ruakaka were on board a medical flight to Manila yesterday when the Beechcraft plane fell out of the sky and crashed into a holiday resort. Lois Williams reports. Friends of the family say the couple had been on holiday in the Philippines visiting Mrs Carr's family when her husband Tom took ill. Mr Carr's thought to be in his late 70s or early 80s. He was being flown to hospital in the capital, Manila, when the plane began to lose altitude over a popular holiday resort village, Pan Sol, in Laguna Province. This report from CNN. It was supposed to be a relaxing Sunday for residents and holiday goers in Barangay Pan Sol, Calamba, Laguna until the sights and sounds of a low-flying, damaged twin-engine plane turned their supposedly happy holidays into horror and panic. Aris de Villa, who works as a caretaker in one of the resorts, says he saw the plane heavily damaged before hearing a loud explosion. Eyewitnesses told CNN debris fell from the plane as it nosedived and crashed. All nine people on board, including the pilot, a doctor, two nurses and the cars were killed instantly. A caretaker and her son in the village fled from the plane but suffered burns. Both are in hospital. News of the fatal crash has been met with disbelief and sadness in the car's Ruakaka community. Marilyn Cox, who knew Irma Carr well, says the couple had been together for about 20 years and had an adult son. She'd always come and give me a hug whenever I met up with her at the supermarket or the school. She was a beautiful woman, really beautiful. Marilyn Cox says the Cars had many Filipino friends and were a sociable, happy family. And Irma Carr had recently taken on the care of two of her sister's young children from the Philippines. And she just doted on those little children. They're still quite young. I think they might both still be at primary school. The Philippines police are investigating the plane crash. The black box flight recorder has been recovered and they say it may shed some light on why the medical flight fell out of the sky, killing all on board. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs says it's providing consular support to the family. For Checkpoint, Lois Williams.